Today I want to tell you a story, Little Red Hood. Once upon a time, there is a little girl. Her name is Little Red Hood. Everyone loves her, but her grandmother loves her best of all. One day, grandma got sick. Her mother said to Red Hood, This will refresh her, but you need to be careful. There is a big wolf in the forest. Red, Red Hood said, I will observe everything you have told me. And little Red Hood on the way to her grandmother's house. Where are you going? asked Bad Wolf. I'm going to visit my grandma. She got sick. What's, what do you bring? Food and medicine. Where does your grandmother live? In the end of this forest, and Beth Wolf sank we king himself. This nice young girl will taste best better than old woman, but you trick and her cleverly, and you may catch them both. And Beth Wolf. Walk to a little red hood side. Red hood, just look, there are so many beautiful flowers. Why don't you look around them at them all? Oh, that's a good idea, said little red hood. And Beth Wolf ran to Grandma's house quickly, and he knocked the door. Who's there? So I asked Grandma. I'm, I'm, I'm little Red Hood, your grandchild. Can you open? Only press the lock. Cried Grandma. I'm so weak, I can't stand. And Bad Wolf pressed the leg and he, and he eats the grandma. Oh no, said grandma. After a while, Little Red Hood arrived at grandma's house. To see you, said Bad Wolf. Uh, Grandma, why do you have large hands? The better to hold on you, said Bad Wolf. But, Grandma, why do you have such big big? Mouse, the better to eat you. The bad wolf pump out the bed and he eats her up. The, the hunter can pass. He walk in grandma's room and he look into the bed. There lay the bad wolf. to take and with his 
gun, but he didn't shoot. And he take a knife and cut sleeping wolf's belly. Afterward, crowd out Grandma and Red Hood. They're still alive, but scarcely able to breathe. Hunter, Grandma, and Red Hood pick some stone into Bad Wolf's belly. And when the Bad Wolf woke up, the stone was so heavy that fall on the ground and beat himself to die. My story is finished. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.